Welcome back to Extended Play at Big Bang 2. Oni has been one of the most hyped games of the past two years. It promises to deliver anime-style combat and action. Unfortunately, that proves to be a promise that's hard to deliver. After all the wait and all the hype, Bungie's Oni is finally out for the PlayStation 2. It's an intriguing attempt at an anime-style third-person shooter beat-em-up that serves up some tasty gems, albeit few and far between. The Syndicate is using the warehouse to shuttle contraband. You play Kanoko, a tough gal that works for a futuristic police task force, whose job is to stop all sorts of organized crime. If there's one element of Oni that will frustrate some gamers, it's the control system. That's because you'll be managing your movements with a left analog stick while looking around with the right. Not an easy task, especially on a game that demands precision and quickness. Content-wise, this title falls short as well. Like most stateside attempts at copying the Japanese anime style, Oni's art direction has a very cookie-cutter feel. When it comes to level design, things can be summed up in one word, bland. You can look forward to long hallways, empty rooms, and even more stark, empty hallways. There are worthwhile aspects. Character animations and articulations are well done. You also have a myriad of options to take out your foe. Not to mention a decent arsenal of weapons. Perhaps Oni might be seen in a better light if it hadn't been so hyped up. It's been almost four years since its announcement, and ultimately, Oni falls on the weight of its own hype machine. Extended Play gives the PlayStation 2 version of Oni a 3 out of 5. Oh, so there. You're gonna get beat by a girl. Now don't forget that Oni isn't just available for the PlayStation 2. You can also get it for your PC. Now we wanted to show you that LAN parties are not just all about a particular game. Like, this is Ed. What are you playing, Ed? I'm playing a game called Bridge Builder, where you build bridges and hope they stand up. See, this is cool. This is hit like wildfire here, and it's shareware. You can find it at bridgebuilder.8m.com. Now our old friend Mario has got a brand new bag, so let's check out Paper Mario. Nintendo has finally released an RPG worth playing for the N64, and manning the helm is our favorite Paisano plumber. The big difference this time around is that Mario and company are two-dimensional characters living in a 3D world. The scenario is classic Mario Brothers fare. Princess Peach is in trouble because Bowser is threatening her and the entire Mushroom Kingdom. In order to stop Bowser's diabolical plans, Mario has to venture all over the kingdom and free the seven star spirits who will help him. During his travels, Mario picks up a number of sidekicks to aid him in his adventure. For example, Gumbario offers insight into Mario's enemies. Mario has a number of different jumps and hammer swings to deal with his foes, but having the right partner with you during a fight can make the difference between a cakewalk and barely escaping with one's life. The music is cheery, upbeat, and surprisingly good considering its old-school influences. All the appropriate bonks, zoinks, bells, dings, clangs, and bounces are here. Graphically, you may want to turn your nose up at Paper Mario. However, the blending of the 2D and 3D creates a cartoony visual experience that produces more than a few laughs. The first time Paper Mario travels down a pipe like a piece of paper in a toilet will make even the most jaded gamer smile. The combination of absorbing gameplay with retro graphics makes for hours of entertainment, which is why Extended Play gives Paper Mario a 4 out of 5. Now, the original Super Mario RPG was made by a company that used to have a very friendly relationship with Nintendo. It was a company called Square. Now, sitting next to me is a gamer called Kevin. Kevin, how old are you? Six. Six years old. And how long have you been gaming? S well, since I was two. Two. Do you have a Razor scooter? Yes. All right. Do you use it a lot? Not very much. Right. Well, a lot of people are using Razor scooters out there, and that would make sense since there's now a game about it. While you may be a little bit tired of the phenomena, you probably won't be tired of the game. Scooters are the biggest craze circulating around the world these days. And it's not just the kids zipping around the neighborhood. Oh, no. Quite a few adults have taken a liking to them. But does that make it an extreme sport? You better believe it. In video game land, anything's possible. Scooter riders can bust a heel flip to Superman combo and onto a land handrail without even breaking a sweat. 
Case in point, PlayStation's newest extreme game, Razor Freestyle Scooter. Your mission is simple. A crazed robot is taking your friends. Can you complete his challenges to save them? Okay, the plot line is a little weak, and the cartoonish-like graphics bring us back to a simpler time, but who cares? It's still a lot of fun ripping it up old school style. Once you pick the color of your scooter and rider participant, it's time to hit the courses. There's a vast assortment of colorful amusement-like backdrops, including poolside, clock tower, and the sky fortress. The controls are solid and simple to manipulate. Busting tricks is tremendously easy and you can create combos free of anxiety. It is possible to do a 540 backflip, land onto a handrail and grind, hop and do a bar spin, continue to grind, then hop off the rail with a leg sweep. Now that's a fat combo. The sound isn't half bad either. All the characters have distinctive grunts and coos as they go crashing through glass or head first into brick walls. Uh. The music is a catchy punk grunge mix that will be ingrained in your skull after hours of playing. All in all, this game isn't going to win any awards, but you have to give it props for some good old-fashioned game thrashing. Extended Play gives it a whopping 4 out of 5 stars. Coming up on Extended Play, we go into combat with Fallout Tactics and hit the streets of Japan with Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero.